Professor, I was wondering where you're from. What's your background? Oh, how nice of you to ask. Well, let's see. I grew up in London, right on the Thames. The Thames? That sounds lovely. All the sights and bustle of a city. To some, yes. I used to dream of living in the country. But it wasn't until I came to Hogwarts that I felt truly at home. Mind you, it did take some time. And whilst it is my fervent hope that each student eventually feels as at home here as I do, it is not always the case. I suppose that makes sense. Well, we each bloom differently, don't we? Some of us, like Devil's Snare, thrive in the shadows, whilst others crave the attention of a bouncing bulb. And we each grow and thrive according to our own plan. Oh, I was terribly nervous when I arrived at the castle. You see, as a child, I knew nothing of witches or wizards. You can imagine how astonished I was to receive my letter from Hogwarts. I spent a good deal of time alone in either the greenhouse or the library my first days here. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. Oh, but I've given you the wrong impression. On the contrary, I was shown great kindness. In fact, a seventh year took me under her wing during those first days. She remains one of my dearest friends. How fortunate. I was indeed. I dare say you'll find that the friends you make here at Hogwarts will last a lifetime. Now, I'd best get to my recent delivery from the Magic Neep. Mr. Teasdale promised me quite an assortment of seats this week. Lovely to see you. Right, well, I guess I'll just explore around until daytime. Oh. Excellent. Same thing, something different. Looks like something different. That's neat. Different potions. <laughs> oh, hello. Rebellion. 
Right, so it seems like there are no demigeist moons in the library. Let's look in the restricted section again. Alohomora. Can unlock this one finally. Ooh, dark arts dueling gloves. Cool. Oh, I never changed my gloves. I don't even know if you can see them. Barely. Should probably change that. No gloves this time. Oh, yes. What do we have here? A demi guys. Wait, why can't I take it? It's nighttime. Isn't it? Is it not nighttime anymore? I'm confused. Lumos. Is it frickin' daytime? Is that why? Well, there is one in the restricted section, so try and remember that. Yep, it's daytime. <laughs> of course it is. You didn't see anything or else. No one will believe you anyways. I thought your mother was nice. She is, but it's my baby sister. Caused all this fuss. I hate sisters. 
Sorry. Apology accepted. But why would your mother send you a house? Seems rather extreme. Exactly. It's my little sister. She likes to play with that one. The last time I was home, I found some for her. <laughs> your sister sounds charming. <laughs> She's the worst sister ever. I get her the earth one. And next thing you know, we've got hawk clumps. My <laughs> mum's livid. Oh, hawk clumps can be quite nasty. They spread quickly too. Can ruin a garden almost overnight. Yes, all right, Professor. That's exactly what happened. They ruined the garden almost overnight. <laughs> you can call me Professor. Very funny. You don't know how embarrassing it was to have a howler show up in front of everyone. People were talking about it in the girls' lavatory, so it must have been memorable. Oh, that's very helpful to know. Thank you for that. <laughs> I'm sure Garlic would have a suggestion for you. At least it's just hawk lumps. Just hawk lumps? Just hawk lumps. Well, I'm just saying. My auntie once had an infestation of Bundy Mums in her floorboards. Oh, now that's a stench. Rotten's have four clumps, I'm sure. But you'd be getting more than a howler if it was, say, a venomous tentacula. If my leg was chopped off, would you tell me I'm lucky to still have my head? Just curious. <sighs> Remind me never to bring up my problems when I'm talking to you. Quite a logical outcome, really. Excess of earthworms. Completely plausible to attract hawk. Yes. All right. We know some of us like herbology. <sighs> oh, wait. It's not what I want. I need to go to herbology class. grow could be so interesting oh just started it okay <laughs> yeah kind of yikes how wonderful to see you again I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. What's the difference? When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. So it's just a stronger version? Levitate and move objects? Control its position with your movement. Use the D-pad to fine-tune its distance and rotation. Well done! Feel free to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room.
automatically cast on objects summoned to you with Accio. Oh. Oh, what is this? Samantha Dale? Hello, Samantha. Are you here for Summoner's Court? I am. I'm actually rather good at it. Used to play all the time with my brother, until... Oh, never mind. Shall we begin? Yes, I'm ready to play. Then let's get summoning. Accio! What is... what are those? Oh. What was I thinking? How am I supposed to beat that? What the fuck? <gasps> no, no. Oh. You have to do better than that. Well, you too. Yeah. For sure, in my way now. Do better than that. Akio. Yeah, no, I lost. Damn. Yes. <laughs> Akio. At least I got some points. That was sensitive. How about that? I won! Okay, try again. Good match. Care to have another go? But of course. Splendid! Better than that. Accio. Maybe I should pull that one at like that angle. Shit's in my way. Yes. That was sensational. Accio. And get stuck. Oh man, it's in my way again. Yes. <laughs> stop! 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 <gasps> no! 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 Oh! How wow! To top that? that settles it. Then. Wait, did that count it? Oh, it counted it? <laughs> All right, I'll take it again. I'll take After the After your poor show against Natty in class, I thought I could beat you. My poor show? It appears I overestimated myself. What? I completely annihilated her in every single match. Okay. More like you underestimated me. That was your mistake. Fair enough. But a little sporting spirit wouldn't hurt you. I happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of luck. Ah. 
I mean, you kind of started it, but okay. Oh, what's this? Is that the one dude? Thank you enough yep. for all you did to get my carts returned to me. I've been painting and painting. <laughs> Incredible how such darkness can inspire such beauty. Why don't you have a little peruse? There we are then. That'll do nicely, I'm sure. Brooms. Well, I wish I could preview it. It's five thousand gold. More than happy to purchase that. Good to have stock, I always say. Appreciate you stopping by. Uh, be sure to visit me again, won't you? New quest. How would you like to learn the knockback jinx flipendo? Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. Okay, what task? Grow and harvest flux weed. Acquire all three combat plants and use them simultaneously. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. <sighs> Okay. Oh. I don't think he had flux weed seed. Vivelio. Why don't you have a little peruse? Appreciate you stopping by. Uh, be sure to visit me again, won't you? What is this? Ah. Alohomora. It's 
a huge chest, damn. Of course, it has to be one of those. Rebellion. Even sounds like I'm walking on water. Was not really prepared for that. Interesting. It's pretty cool. Is that it though? Is all that's in here? Cast a pulso on a levitated enemy. Broom stuff. Wickety swift broom. Night dancer. Wild fire broom. Hmm. <coughs> Available. What's up your sleeve this time, Merlin? Oh, it's one of these again. I don't know. Wingardium Leviosa. Do these mean something?
Is there more? It means something. What? Well, what does it mean? Oh, I see more over there. Does this have to do with the Merlin trial? Oh, it does. Wow. How did I manage to actually figure that out? That was pure luck. Here's the last one. Merlin himself <laughs> would be proud. Honestly. Very pretty. Very cool. Only reason I was able to kind of figure that out is walking by them, and then I remembered that the other one that's like that also has butterflies nearby. So I'm like, well, maybe there's a correlation. Go do the balloons over there. Where am I at right now? What's this place? Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Demi yeah, how do I how what? Oh okay, just needed to wait a little bit longer. Guess I wasn't late enough.
Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. That Pippin should have been here by now. Well, this must be part of that Merlin trial over there. Potion recipe book. Always late, that Pippin. Madame Luong, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. Yeah. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for mm. him, did he? Yep. Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Jeez. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. What? Drink it. Why? Why do I need to drink it? It's such a waste. I'd rather not, but if you insist, so be it. I do insist. Do I just need to drink it? We got a cat. <sighs> if you hear jingling, it's because I gave my cats some uh, jingly balls that they got stuck under the TV stand thingy. Revelia. What is this? It's all crooked. The Tilted House. The locals call this the Tilted House due to the odd angle at which it sits, wrapped in the roots of the overhanging tree. Ooh, I don't like it. Makes me nervous. Are you gonna drink from that? Oh my god. What the hell? Rebellion. I've always said that travel... Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Revelio. I know there is a boulder. Somewhere. Right there. In Guardian Leviosa. Okay. Is it stuck? Is that it? Nope. Damn it. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Revenia. Lumos. Oh, 
they just disappear? Interesting. Revelio. Can I use Revelio while I'm on the broom? Probably not. Disgusting. That's not a door. Ooh, cat. Mow. Oh, another one. So cute. Hmm. Rebellion. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna steal your shit. Original spot. Ha. 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 Ooh, feline plates. Cute. Revelio. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Oh yeah, I got sidetracked. I was supposed to be. Wasn't I supposed to try out that ocean or something? See, it works. I was here and then I was gone and now I'm back. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, hmm. I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. All right. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I Gross. were you, I'd forget I heard that. Nope. <sighs> Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? I don't really want to buy anything from what her now. What are we looking for today? But let's just see. Nope. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it.
Oh, there it is. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. It's a pretty far distance to take that. Jeez. I like how they conveniently have this here. That kid would have just been completely annihilated. <laughs> oh god. Okay, somewhere over here, right here. That's that. Got him. Settled. Is that a dungeon over here? Is that what that means? Gross. There's so many. It sounds like it anyways. Okay, hang on, hang on. I need to add this one. Incendio. Not sure what happened, but I, I will take it. <laughs> 